everybody, I'm Lady Red and welcome to Lady Red's Tech Reviews. Today, I've got an unboxing for you. I've got the Samsung Galaxy A6 that is available here at Cookie Wireless. So go ahead, stay here, leave a like on the video, drop a comment if you've got any questions. I'll try my best to answer them all. And thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that too. Thank you so much for watching. go y'all got the Samsung Galaxy 6 let's take a quick look at the specs according to the box a stunning 5.6 inch HD plus super AMOLED infinity display and sleek metal design front and rear 16 megapixel cameras both with LED flash full HD video up to 32 gigs in memory with support for a 400 gigabyte micro SD card that's a big old card Fast unlock with fingerprint scan and facial recognition. And this is going to be the demo for our store. So let's get it out. Let's get this sucker open and set up. Dun dun dun. This is hard to do with one hand, y'all. There is our reading material. Something to look at when you go to the bathroom. Here it is. Look at there. SIM card. Your cricket literature. Something else to take to the bathroom with you. And you've got your SIM key and your charger. Let's see if this has got a fast charge. <laughs> Let's see. Trying to get this to focus. There we go. Now to get my eyes to focus. No, this is a 1.55. I think that's what that says. 1.55 amp. So not a turbo charge. It is not a 2 amp charge. Nice one, Samsung. Just saying. Get with the program. I'm not putting the SIM card in because this is for demo. Ooh, I just love the sound of plastic, even if it is on the same song. Alright, here we go. Very slender. Fits nicely in my hand. You've got your front flash and your 16 megapixel camera, volume rocker, power button, I don't see. Where is Bixby? Is that a speaker? That is a speaker right there on the side. First time I've ever seen that. <coughs> see, Samsung will have the SIM tray right here on top. Let's see that. The light. There it is. Now you can see it. That's going to be your SIM tray and your SD tray right there for your micro SD card. It does feel like a good build. Very sturdy. And there's going to be your rear camera with your flash over here to the side. This is interesting little addition. Something I haven't seen before on a Samsung. Some little just to make it pretty, I guess. And you got microphone, looks like US micro USB charging, and a headphone jack here on bottom. And a speaker right there, too. And let's get this sucker going. I'm trying to get off that glare. Get 
in and boot it up. So far, it feels good. It's not very heavy. It's not as heavy as my Supra. <clears throat> Definitely not as heavy as my X-Pure. So it's very light. But it feels very solid. It's not too thin. I don't like a, a very thin phone. It, I drop those too much. Too easy to drop. This feels like a good solid design. I kind of want to throw it across the room just to see how it holds up. But I'm not going to do that because that's frowned upon. Alright, hi there. Hello to you too. Alright, I'm going to get this all set up and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I've got this all set up now. Let's take a look at what we're dealing with. Oh, there's Mr. Bixby. We don't have a button for Bixby anymore. I know everyone's going to be so excited about that because from what I hear, it got in on everybody's nerves. I don't know why I just clicked sign in. Okay, so we'll skip it. And they're, nope, not doing that either. So we're not going to sign into Bixby. Everybody knows what to expect out of Bixby. If you've ever had a Samsung, you had a Bixby. What I am kind of digging already, the absence of a notch. There is no notch anywhere on this device. I don't like notches. Bezels are sexy. So, let's see what we've got pre-downloaded. Got your Google Suite, your Samsung Suite, calendar, camera, pretty standard stuff here. Samsung Health, Samsung Plus, all the Samsung blah blah blah. So there's all of that. It's going to have a separate gallery. You won't just be forced to use Google Photos if you don't want to. Now let's go in the settings and see about bloatware. See exactly how much bloatware we're going to be dealing with. Amazon Shopping, there's one. Bixby Vision, Briefing, Calculator, Calendar, Camera, pretty basic for Samsung. Configuration APK, Device Maintenance, Amazon Dictionary, guess, because that's what everybody needs. App Finder, ugh, disable that. When you come across it, oh, and you can't. Lovely. So just, if you can't disable something, always take away permission. Because App Finder is bloatware. It invites bloatware. <clears throat> you don't want it in your phone. This is what opens the door for other bloatware apps to come in. You got your... Galaxy apps, Galaxy wearable because you know you got to have all that cool stuff. Google Pay is oh, Google Pay is pre installed. That's the first time I've seen that pre installed on any device. Link sharing, mobile services. This is the demon I fight with all the time. And one more time, I'm going to show y'all exactly how to exercise this nasty little bug from your phone. We're going to start down here. No, it's not allowed to change anything on the phone. Because yes, even our in-store in -store demo models come with that nasty little bug and it causes so many problems. And then we're going to skip permissions for a, just a second and go to mobile data. And we're going to deny the access to that too. And then you want to come back down here and then deny permission to the phone. Then you want to disable it. And yes, you have to do all of that to disable it or it will turn itself back on with the next update. You've got all of this wonderful Samsung crap. You know how I feel about Samsung. If you've ever watched anything on my channel, you already know. So there we go. There's our apps. And facial recognition, fingerprint, Samsung Pay, you can do that. General management, software update, about phone. And let's see, software. We're gonna go. Whoop. Developer options are now on because I like them that way. And security patches current as of October 1st. There we go. Samsung Experience 9 and Android 8. So now you can sleep well at night knowing that. Alright, let's just check out some YouTube and see what the display looks like here. No, I don't want to update just yet. Oh, Auto-rotate. Mm, bothers me. 
so I'm going to turn it off real quick. Alright, let's see what Lady Red's been up to. And there I am. So, let's check out, let's get a good one for this playlist. And there we go. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Good grief. Those silly little tutorials. Yeah. Not giving you my location. Y'all are a bunch of stalkers. So, but I'm here, and this is a big lot. It's the whole Go apartment right here. Yeah. I'm pulling up the chat okay. right now, and I've lost my internet. And so you can expand the, the screen in so full screen. I've dropped out of Black bars and borders, or not. Yeah. The display looks pretty good. Yeah, off of the. Well, I lost the Wi-Fi. So, y'all are just going to watch. You can't see the chat. I might be able to pull it up. I don't know. Wi-Fi for a minute. There. So, Come on, turn off. I have my trusty handy dandy cameraman Rick right here helping me out. Come take a look at this. Okay. So if you're Christmas shopping at Big Lots, then so. if you're stocking stuff or stuff, lots of different earbuds for you. Um, no skull candy. Yeah, it looks good. The display looks okay. Billboard Don't see any real problem with it. Alright, let's get out of that. And let's see how fast it goes from one app to the other. Let's go with calendar. Takes it just a minute to pull up. Alright. Clear that out. Oh. Close off. Alright. Now let's go to clock. Just a second. Of course, that's the first time we pulled it up. Clearing out. Contacts. Get all this done. As promised, instead of a screenshot, I thought I would just go ahead and do a little screen share with the specifications. And this is the Cricut branded version. Um, Metro, Boost, they may have different ones, but this is the one for Cricut. This is what you can expect. We have Android 8.0 Oreo. The processor is a 1.6 octa-core, 3,000 milliamp battery. Hearing aid compatibility rated at a M4 and a T3, if that's something that you are concerned about. Um, as with every phone on Cricut ever, any phone, any plan. 5.9 inch by 2.7 inch display. Or that's the size. There's the display 5.7, 5.6, excuse me. HD plus Super AMOLED up to 32 gigabytes internal with a micro SD slot for 400. There you go. Micro USB charging, 16 on the front, 16 on the back. The rear camera will do full HD video on both. Look there. Let's see. And there we go. Product information. Yeah, you can do all that. All right, then. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, drop a comment, and be sure to subscribe and ring my bell to get the notifications on the next videos. If you love my content so much and you love me, drop a buck in the tip jar. Y'all know where I work. The struggle is real, y'all. There's a link down there for that, too. And also, in the link section, I have a blog. So if you want to check out my blog and get more from Lady Red, then go ahead and follow the link to Lady Red's awesome stuff. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.